Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here, RemotePilot101.com. I want to spend a moment today talking to you about the registration of your drone. We're going to talk about in the next YouTube video about whether it's hobbyist or commercial, which way to go with that. But I want to talk first about registering and how to register. Okay. First and foremost, please don't be deceived. If you just Google register my drone, whatever it may be, you're going to see a bunch of companies coming up that claim, oh, we'll register for you. We can do this and this service. Don't be deceived by that. I don't know those companies or anything like that, but what I do know is you register directly with the FAA and it costs you $5. Please don't be deceived by other companies out there charging more to just go to this website I'm going to show you, pay the $5 and register it. Okay, so first and foremost, you'll see the image on your screen here. The URL is registermyuas.faa.gov. You go on there, you create a profile, an account, and you can have all your drones listed on that profile. You just go through, you register it, you can register it to yourself personally, you can put it in LLC, in your business, whatever you actually want to do. And then we print out our label and we go ahead and label it and we can place it somewhere where it can be seen and accessible without a tool, is how the FAA actually says it. So if you wanted to put it inside the battery compartment, you could, because it's accessible without a tool. But we just put them out there in plain view for people to have so everything is registered properly. Now a popular question we've been asked inside of our Remote Pilot 101 course is, Jason, what if I want to put my Inspire on eBay because I really want an Inspire 2 right now? Well, absolutely that can be done. But you, as the owner, need to deregister it first. You simply just go in your profile and you can delete it and remove it because this is by serial number. If the person who purchases it on eBay tries to register it, they won't be able to because the serial number for this Inspire is already being used. So make sure when you're buying used drones that the individuals you're buying them from, make sure they go in and deregister the drone as well. So you can then go in and register it. Because whether you want to be a commercial operator, whether you want to be a hobbyist, it doesn't matter. They all have to be registered. And the next YouTube video after this, I'm going to share with you hobbyist versus commercial. Can we do both? Which is better? What is the definition of commercial? We'll talk about that in the YouTube video to follow after this. So go watch for that video. You've seen online that the Part 107 knowledge test isn't easy. It's not something you can go in alone. Let us be your guide. Let our 57 full 4K training videos really hold your hand and take you through the course step by step to better understand complex topics like airspace, charts, METARs and TAFs and aviation weather. You're able to test on and see the actual FAA Part 107 questions. And lastly, we're gonna help you submit your application to the FAA. Visit remotepilot101.com to learn more.